Happy Tuesday, everybody! It's like a pretty good Tuesday. I wanted to ask you guys, 2015 just started, right? So there's a lot of movies that are anticipated this year or that we've already seen trailers for. What movies are you guys excited for seeing? We've already seen trailers for two of them that I'm excited for, and that is Jurassic World and the new Terminator Genesis movie. I wasn't at first when I heard the name, but then I saw that it was Mother of Dragons from Game of Thrones plays Sarah Connor, which is awesome. And then Jurassic World, man, I've been waiting for a new Jurassic Park for so long. That is one of the movies that we've seen in the theater. I saw it like twice in the theater when it first came out, once in a dollar theater like a month after it was out of the theaters, and then just recently we saw it again, it went to the theater again, and we're like, yeah, let's do it, watch it again. So, the, the first Jurassic Park, that is. So I'm excited to see their new take on it with this new dinosaur and everything. Man, it's gonna be awesome. It's that kind of a night, a spaghetti and garlic bread. Well, it's like cheesy garlic bread night. And we're gonna watch Rescuers, which is our next Disney movie. Look guys, we're past the time when Star Wars started putting the credits at the end of movies. We're into it. No more credits at the beginning. Sorry, I, you guys were the ones that told me this in the comments, but apparently Star Wars was the first movie ever to put credits at the end of the movie. So that's what they're doing. Yes. Unless I was wrong. Are they gonna do the credits right now? Ah, I was wrong. Darn it. Now there's a movie that I would not watch again. I mean, it wasn't like a terrible uh, plot or anything like that, but the music, oh, man. You watch Disney movies for the music. Well, not for, only for the music, like some of the plots are good, I guess. But most of the time you're watching a Disney movie and you're singing along. No chance of that happening with this movie. It was like Karen Carpenter was singing the entire thing, and it wasn't good at all. The plot was okay. I don't know. There's much better movies. I'm sure most of you guys noticed that we have this piano and this organ back here. After watching Aristocats, I kind of want to learn how to play piano. Like, I... Right? Like, the, the Aristocats song. I want to know how to play it. So because we're on a diet, we're going to have this because it's healthy and it'll help us lose weight. Um, our friend Gail sent us this and it's a no-bake thing, so I just got to mix everything together, whatever the instructions say to do. Pop it in this convenient pan that, and I know it's convenient because they say that on the box there, and put it in the refrigerator for a little bit and then we'll have a delicious, delicious dessert. This was my favorite part so far. It's like put softened butter, water, and this crust mix in this measuring thing. Don't stir! It's like, do not stir! So, and then the microwave for 45 seconds. First, I mix all that stuff together after I microwave it and then press it into this pan that was included. It's so convenient. And then we melted some butter. It sort of melted. Added this, I don't know, sort of like floury mix. And then we add this peanut butter mix. And then we mix it all together and we put it on top of this. And then we add the topping and then we put it in the refrigerator and it's done. It's delicious. This kind of smells like um, powdered sugar and flour. Mix. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Mmm, <laughs> yeah. My favorite part about any dessert is when the topping looks like poop. No, it looks like chocolate. And then after you put all the toppings on, you pop it in the old reverse oven for 30 minutes at like 28 degrees. And then it's ready to eat. So we just watched Saturday Night Live. I know it's Tuesday, but we watched it because it's on Hulu. And the musical guest was D'Angelo. D'Angelo back in the day was like, he was a big hit. Like he was a big star. And now it was not so good. But my biggest complaint about the entire performance was they didn't focus on the drummer. The drummer was like, you ever seen that video? Like this guy's playing in the wrong band or whatever. It's like crazy drummer. And there's like a guy playing with like this like wedding band and there he's like rocking out and he's doing all these crazy like drumstick moves. The drummer for D'Angelo was doing that and they showed it for like a half a second during the second song. And I was very upset about that because I feel like that guy deserves more notability. Like he should be the main stage. That was awesome. I'll tell you guys what we've been watching a lot is uh, Friends. Anybody else? We're on season nine. Like that's actually Jen's on season nine, I'm not. And so with all of this Friends watching, which I'm assuming that everybody is watching Friends because it's available on Netflix now and everybody loves Friends, I wanted to ask you guys who you most relate with on Friends. Like what Friends character are you? And what Friends character do you think I am? I don't really know. Hopefully you guys don't like, I don't want to be Ross. Just saying, don't tell me I'm Ross. <laughs> And on that note, it's time for bed. Look at that, 10 o'clock. That's my bedtime. So I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.